Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and welcome to another demo day today. We're going to be using our gel press and colour box. I think we're going to be using the chocolate. So we're going to need my brayer and we're also going to be using our brushos that I've mixed with some water. Okay, so let's start by transferring some of the ink onto our gel press. Now as you can see my gel press is a very well used gel press. It's been stained with lots of inks and um, it's had just about everything thrown at it but it does make no difference at all to the actual end result. Okay so I've placed the uh, colour box on, now I'm going to put some brusho on. Let me just show you. Okay, so I've got all my colours and then because you can't always tell what colours are in the buddy cups, I've just put a little bit of the ink on the sides here just to indicate which, which is which. And that's just a really sort of easy go-to if you want a particular colour. So I'm going to use my fan brush now. I'm picking up this is okra and I'm just going to tap that over the top and then we're going to use the Prussian blue which is a lovely blue and then some lime green as well And let's see what we get. So I've got some multifarious card here, so I'm just going to place that down over the top. Give that a smooth over. And there we have a lovely background. That blue is just it's one of my favourite colours in the brushes, I must admit. I'm going to dry that off. And then I'm going to trim it down. few stamps here. I'm just going to check out my composition. So I think, yeah, we're good to go on those. So, grab my block, got my snail, and I'm going to ink up in the nocturne. Make sure he's completely covered and then we're just going to pop him down like so. Give that a good press, let it rest a while and there he is. Okay, so next I'm going to ink up this time in the twilight and then pop that down like so and let's take our other one I'm 
this time I'm just going to mask mask that off and pop that down and then we've got our little group of ferns and I'm going to ink that up in a different colour, this time Warm Breeze. I'm just going to mask that off again. Here. I've got three little mice and we're going to pop one on the snail and one on the ferns here so let's start with the one at the top there so I'm going to ink up in the black in the nocturne in the nocturne and then lastly I'm going to pop him on the snail Okay, so using some torn paper, I'm just going to ground the snail. I'm just sitting that just on the edge of where the snail is there. And I'm going to ink up in the twilight with my smoothie, smoothie and just take that over the edge. And this time the nocturne, so I'm just going to use a tiny little bit of the nocturne literally just touch the very edge just to give it a little bit of depth okay so I want the snail to kind of stand out a little bit more so I'm going to add some water to him Just pop that over the top as we've done before and just that that will just pull the colour out not all the colour but just some of it and it will be just enough to make the snail look a little bit more three-dimensional Okay, so I'm going to just heat that up, dry it off. Okay, so we've got our lovely little mice and they're all looking at something, aren't they? So we need to think about what we're going to put up here. Um, 
So I've got a branch here with some foliage. So I think I'm just going to use that across the top. Let's give it a go anyway. That's the idea I've got in my head. So inking up in the twilight. I think what I'll do, I'll start there. And then I'm going to carry on, just going to move that over and carry that on along the top there. And then our lovely little stamp that comes with the set. I'm going to ink that up and just add a few more leaves that are on their way down like so. Okay, so we're going to take Warm Breeze now and I'm going to go around the edge of the card. And Twilight, I'm going to just bring in a little bit of depth into the top. And literally just kiss the edges with the darker colour. Okay. Make sure I've got the right lid for the right ink, otherwise I'll have a pleasant surprise next time. Okay, so just going to bend that back into shape. We're going to use the acetate and I'm going to create a moon. So popping that over the two mice, I've got enough ink on here now just to go around the edge. And again, I'm going to add a little bit of water to the moon. Take some of that colour out. Just make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. And then dry that off. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of glitter coming down here now. So taking our glue pen, I'm just going to pop some very fine dots in and around all the leaves. And this is what they're going to be watching. They're going to be watching a little bit of fairy dust coming down from the tree above. And what colour shall we go for? 
Shall we go for the blue, the blue purple, or the blue green, or the holographic? Um, I'm going to go with that one. It's a hard decision when it comes to glitter. <laughs> right, okay. And there we go. That's just giving it a lovely little sparkle. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Thanks so much for watching and joining me today. Hope it's inspired you to go and have a go yourselves. You take care and we'll see you real soon. Bye for now. <laughs>